welcome to my channel. So today I am doing my monthly BoxyCharm unboxing. So there are a couple products that I definitely am not going to show as a try on. So I'm just going to talk about them first. We have the Wonder Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. These are really cool. They are $13 and they are just under eye masks that kind of help with your bags and freshen up the area and moisturize it. So you get three of these, really neat, and I'm actually gonna probably use these tonight. These are also really good to do right before you put on your makeup. Then I got the Adesi Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil. This is $18. Uh, I mean, I did need some cuticle oil, so I guess I'm glad I got this, but I wish it was like one of the Becca primers or something that everybody else got, so. But it's all right. I needed it. And the last thing that I'm not going to show you is by Bang Beauty, which I've never heard of. And this is their chocolate eyeliner. I love gel eyeliners. They're my favorite. So even though I can't show you me putting this on, I actually did wear it earlier today. It didn't bleed or anything, but it's a really light color. So if you are medium skin tone or darker, I really don't know how useful this is going to be on you. It was actually pretty light for me. And when I'm using a brown eyeliner, I still prefer it to be a little darker than this. So this, I mean, it worked, but I wasn't too crazy about the color of it. So eh, I could pass. And if I didn't mention, this is actually $22 and I don't think it's worth that much. So as everybody knows, I was so excited to get to this boxy charm because the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette was in here. This just released a couple weeks ago. They also released a more neutral one, and this is the party animal one. And I was so close to buying this because it was very different. And I'm glad I didn't because I got it in my boxy charm this month. So this is $19 if you just buy it off the website. Yeah, I never use colors like these. So this is going to be interesting. Um, so okay. Okay, I need to brainstorm because I never freaking use colors like this. Okay, so I just have concealer on my eye and that's dried down. So there isn't going to be too much skipping as far as product goes on my eye. Um, so I think I'm going to start off with a little bit of Issa Party, which is this neon green color. And I'm going to focus that on the inner part of my crease. Okay, so it's pretty sheer, nothing too crazy. Screw it, I'll just put it on the other eye. Let me zoom in a little bit. So since this color is actually relatively sheer with a blending brush, I'm gonna go a little bit kind of everywhere with it. This could potentially make you look very sickly. All right, and now I'm going to take a little bit of damage control and I'm gonna put that more in the middle of my crease. Just to be clear, I have no idea what direction I'm going in with this, so just bear with me. And I'm not very talented at looks using these colors. Laura Lee was so bold to use these colors because they're so hard to formulate. So these are a little bit like chalky, a little bit powdery, but so far not too bad. All right, and now I'm going to go in with Karaoke, which is almost has like a little bit of a satin finish to it, but it's more of like a cobalt blue. And I'm just gonna put this on the end of my crease. It's kind of pulling a little bit more purple now that I've placed it on my eyes. What's going to make these colors pop more is if you put a white base underneath, but I really wanted to test how true these colors really are. I would love to put this color all over my lid in a look. Probably do an Instagram look with this. So you're gonna have to be very careful with this palette if you know anything about color theory and the color wheel. If you mix the wrong colors together, they're gonna make brown. So when you are making looks with this palette, consider the color wheel and color theory. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and kind of brighten up these colors. As you can see, this blue color kind of faded more to a green because it's a party has a very yellow base to it. And when you mix yellow and blue, you make green. Know your color theory. So if you can possibly use clean brushes, do that, but I'm lazy. So I do have to keep building up these colors because they are kind of disappearing. All right, so next I'm going to use the shade Hungover, which is more of this purple color. It has a sheen to it, but I'm going to use that kind of in my outer corner as a defining color. Thank you. 
I'm having problems getting the pigmentation of this color to show up on my bare lid. It's just looking very sheer. Okay, so now what I think I'm going to do, I was gonna do something different, like do a cut crease, screw it. I'm still gonna do a cut crease. So many hours later, I'm back. So I'm gonna put Drinks, which is the neon orange in the inner half of my lid where the cut crease concealer is, and then bottoms up on the outer, and then it's going to bleed into that purple. So I don't really like how this is laying down on the concealer. So usually when you put color on concealer, it actually pops more because every bit of the pigment is sticking to the lid. But for some reason, this is like really sheer. If I could redo this look again, I'd definitely do it under a completely white base. Now I'm going to take some of bottoms up on the other side of my brush and we're gonna put that on the leftover bits of the crease. Now this has like a bit of a glitter to it. I am digging this color and this color is extremely pigmented. Okay, this color is amazing. I mean, the glitters in here are kind of random, but I'm into them. So I'm using more of a small brush so I can really concentrate and pack the orange in and now I'm no longer having problems. So tools do make a very big difference. Okay, and then don't forget to go in with a bit of that purple color again and just kind of blend this look out. Okay, so now to kind of emphasize and bring life to that cut crease. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm just going to really focus that on the cut. Oh, that was a bad idea. Bad idea because there is fallout. <laughs> How do I get that off? Um, no, 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 no. I'm going to take this off. I'm gonna clean up the rest of my face and I will be right back. All right, so I got a little out of hand playing around with the look and uh, yeah, I finished it basically. So I just put on my lower lash line kind of what I did to my crease and I put on lashes. Now in this month's box, we did get lashes. I received the House of Lashes lashes in the shade Bambi. These range from nine to $12. I don't know what this one in particular is. This one's very interesting because they come in little bunches like this and the hairs are actually black and brown, which is my first time ever getting a pair of lashes that were two different colors. Uh, that's just going to make it look more natural. And what I don't like about these is they're really straight. I like lashes that curl up more just because, I don't know, that's just what looks better on my eyes. So I didn't think these would look very good with my look and this is my first time doing a rainbow eye. So I actually wanted it to look good. So I went ahead and put Morphe lashes on, but I did try these on and they're not my favorite, but I can definitely make them work. And the final thing we got in the box this month was a Smashbox lip product. Uh, I don't know if this is $21, 22, 23, 24, but it ranges from 21 to $24. And I just got a matte lipstick in the shade Latte. Really pretty. I don't think it's gonna go with my look. Not bad. So I do like this color, not really with the look that I'm wearing, but we got a freaking Smashbox product in our boxy jar. So overall, this is definitely a good, good box. Uh, we got some under eye masks, which I'm really happy about. The nail treatment, haven't given it a try, but it's always something that's good to have that I probably should use more often. The gel eyeliner I wasn't too crazy about. The lipstick I really love. And the eyeshadow palette, I'm so happy I have it because it's just something so different. It's not super amazing quality, but you can definitely make it work. And since I don't ever wear colors like these, I'm so happy we got it. And these colors are hard to formulate, so I think Laura Lee did a pretty good job. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review and try on, even though I only tried on two products of this month's BoxyCharm. Really good month, better than last month, um, and BoxyCharm just gets better and better. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, comment down below, do whatever you gotta do, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.